there's a scabby section. This was all open wound that he had, and it's now closed, but there's, whoops, sorry, dog. Hi, everyone. I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi, everyone. I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. And I have here with me a little piggy who looks very, very sad, but he's in fact so much better than he was. So this is Eugene. Eugene and his buddy came to us about five days, I'm sorry, darling, about five days ago. And as you can see, he's lost an enormous amount of fur. Um, what has happened is Eugene had a severe case of mange. Now we're hearing this a lot and we're seeing this a lot right now in rescue. Um, we've always dealt with it. But sadly, vets often don't know what they're doing in this regard. I'm sorry, little guys, just starting to get a bit shaky there, wondering what's happening. So when Eugene's owner tried to fix him, he was taken to a vet and the vet correctly indicated to give him revolution, but they didn't indicate how to actually treat the skin surface and what to do in the way of care that these animals require. So in a 15 minute appointment, quite often not all the necessary steps involved in bringing them to a state of full health is, is made aware. So that's why I really wanted to bring a little bit more detail in this video to you. So Eugene, as you can see, is now really well clean on his body. And maybe I can pop some photos up of how he was on presentation but he's getting quite fluffy all over which is great and this he had at the time let me go sit down he had at the time an enormous amount of hard lumpy um, mange which is from sarcoptic mange mites around his face and under his chin so most of that has actually fallen off now which is fantastic um, his pain is being managed I can touch him where when he first came in he was itching and scratching and and so on and uh, now, of course, he's, you know, he's doing so much better, but we need to continue treating him. So this will be his second bath treatment that I'm just going to do now. And the purpose of that is to actually wipe off some of these areas that have loosened and they're coming away. So you can see over here, for example, there's a scabby section. This was all open wound that he had and it's now closed, but there's, whoops, sorry, dog. there's some um, scabbiness that's there that's coming away again up around his ears and so forth there's a little bit of residual that we want to move off so let's let's have a look at what we can do I'm just going to sit him in the water like this we're just going to wash him all over we're going to let everything get nice and soft and because he's now in a whole better place than he was than five days ago. This little guy is um, well on the way to repair, which is great. So we're going to give him a, a more, here we go, it's all right. <laughs> he knows he's had a bath, which is great, but he's doing really, really well. So let's get some, Maliseb is the chosen product that we use here which is an antifungal and it's really brilliant because this little guy actually has or had what we would call a systemic case of mange. So he's look at his poor little face and most of it. See how it's lifting here? See how on this side it's really lifting and scaly? Now when we put water onto that it's not going to come away easily. So we always, and you'll have seen me in other videos where I promote the use, it's a best way to play, it's okay, where we promote the use of um, some oil because the oil just softens it and then we can wash off. You still need to use the antifungal, what? <laughs> you still need the antifungal to, to wash it completely off. That's okay. What a good boy you are. Yeah, what a good boy. You are a good boy, I know. You are a good boy. So what I've got in this hello, this poor little face, and you can see around there the hard area. Part of the trick in doing this is to move really slowly. So I'm going to get some, and I've got some coconut 
um, oil, which at room temperature is a solid. You'll see it appears like this, but the nice thing is that I can literally just apply it to these hard lumpy areas and it actually makes them melt. It doesn't upset the guinea pig at all. It will just literally make those areas melt so that we can then remove these hard crusty bits that we need to get off. So I'm just applying it up around the regions where he had, most of it's gone, which is great. I know, it's all gone now, it's just, it's just got to regrow your hair. Yeah, it'll do. He's doing so well, he had it so bad under his arms, legs, feet. It was not nice. Now, of course, he's, he's doing really well. So I'm just going to soften it, it's here in the ridge of the mouth. That's it, good boy. Oh no, it's not nice. I'll just take some. I'll have to try and swap hands, I think. We've got quite a chunk on this left side. So we just literally oh, I don't know, massage that in. You've got to be a bit careful there because it is really super sensitive. Yeah, I mean. Go. I'm just going to wipe that off a bit now. And part of what helps is using a little tiny comb just to go through. Now that it's all soft, it ever so easily just lifts that hard scaly bit away. You can see there's not much to come away now from. There was a whole lot under his face when he first came in, all these naked areas, in fact. But now we're just getting rid of what's remaining. And you'll feel so much better. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's still sore down here on the left. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get the whole lot, you know, on film with this little guy. We've had so many of these cases coming through. You may have seen them on the Facebook page or in the rescue. And uh, just teaching people how to, to deal with this so that the animal is calm. Different animals react differently. I know, it's super sensitive. You are super, super sensitive. And that's okay. That is really, really okay. I'm just going to get him out of the water. Okay, it's all right. Just looking at, um, looking at his little face. What we can do is very carefully just move that move that cream through the areas like this softening it as you go and you have to be careful like if you're holding from above and down it's quite safe but once you go below the the jawline again you need to be careful with how you're holding these little guys yeah I'm just trying it's going to help enormously to get these two areas out so I'm just going to hold him carefully while I just brush through here so okay. Oh, okay it's a little bit a little bit of um, soreness to lift that off but what it enables me to do is stop the pain and the hurt from that so okay so it's important to lift lift off this this section it's lumpy and hard and you can see it lifting through here but down here it's like little hard chunks oh boy once we get that off which is very easy to move now and his skin is super tender 
and it's the tail end of him getting well. His new coat's coming through. good little guy. Just trying to do it on this side so that you can actually watch me because dealing with and I'm holding him underneath but you've got to be able to get just into that little area that's it so I can show you how we can move it off. Good We're like a little skinny pig and we don't have skinny pigs here in Australia so that's exactly what they're like isn't it? Wow, that's feeling so soft. You're feeling so good, little guy. You are, you are on your home. You're on the home run. I'll just have to turn him around just momentarily so I can see him a bit better. This way, I know. Where is he? Where is he? Come on. It's a bit easier when I'm looking at him myself. Yeah, good, good, good. Because it's actually on the ridge of his mouth. Oh, I'm sure he's right the corner of your mouth. It goes tiny. Tiny, but once it comes off, you can actually openly touch them in those areas. I know you don't like tiny. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. Look at that. Okay, there we go. It's a good boy. He does not have. Oh, where is he? Is he under there? If you don't get it off, it will continue, and uh, then you're in real trouble. But getting it off at the time when the scabs have lifted, have lifted, is key because um, it comes away easily. Yeah, and you've got all your new fur coming through, which is great. <laughs> Why don't you try to bite me, little guy? Okay, I just wanted to. Can I do this bit so that I can see? Come on. Come on, let me see. I can see it there. I know it's right there. Here we go. We got it. We got it. I got it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. I know. Here it is. He's gone. You got it. That's it. Yeah. We're gonna put a bit of antifungal right on there too. Yeah. I know. I know. It's a bit nasty. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Can I see this bit? I know, you are so sweet. I know, little fella. Little fella, hold on. It's right in the ridge, just in this bit here, near his nose. Oh, maybe you can show us in there. Oh, come on, it's not, it's okay. I'm just doing so lightly. He's just got, <laughs> he's so terrified because he knows what. He knows what his skin was like before. And now, Eugene is almost what we call a skinny pig. Look how hairless he is. I know, it was so hairless, but he's getting better. So this is five days, and this is where we're at. So we'll give you more updates on Eugene. We're going to get his buddy out in a minute. Now, now that he's actually feeling a whole lot better as well, um, I'm going to just want to do a quick check all over. In these bendy bits, good boy. You're doing so well, little dude. So well. I just want to clip those nails back. Yeah, because they'll feel better. I haven't had them done yet. Okay. What is the matter? I haven't, I haven't done anything there. Your nails okay? It's all right. I'm a bit worried about your nails. No one's hurting your nails. He doesn't want to be hurt anymore. He's got some big nails here. Look at those. Very easily fixed. Oh, come on now. That's oh, all right. We're gonna do you this way. How's your? I know you're such a kitty. Come on, there. That's it. Come on. Stay there. Be 
been through a lot. This boy has really been through a lot. And uh, yeah, I'm working with his owner so that um, everything has been changed. The housing, the way he's been kept, because this should never, never happen. Yeah. And I'm really glad that she has found me. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Ah, there you go. Let's do it. Let's do these ears. Put a little bit one under there. Perfect. I'm just keeping him warm there. And I want to, again, using Malaseb and water, just go over these ears. They've actually been gone over, which is really important when you're dealing with mange, that you really keep up on top of those ears. Not a whole lot of fur there now, but uh, we're just doing a triple check that everything is. Oh, that. See, now that was. We did them the other day, but you can see there's a bit more that's moved out. So, this little ear still needs attention, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Good boy. Where's he? Where are they? He's going to. Didn't expect that one, hey? That's all right. And sometimes when you've got really bad cases like that, um, you know, the contents of the ear and what's in the ear canal, as you've cleared things, um, the, the waxy substance continues to come out and bring with it more material that you just need to carefully wipe away. That's all. I'm just going to check this one out. That's all good. It was just that one little, don't keep it. Oh, what a cutie. Eugene. Eugene, I'm sorry this has happened to you. I'm sorry, but you're doing so well. You are doing so well. Yeah, you know you can go and snuggle and uh, have some great food. And we'll check in with him again soon. Okay, you hop over there and then have a look at your buddy as well. Just want to check him. Want to check him down there. Still moving. Yeah. Everything is fabulous with him. You're doing so well. So well. There we go. Mm. Okay. Can you see his velvet skin? Sorry, his velvet fur coming through. So even at this short time, usually by 10 days, they've got a nice velvet cover coming through. So you can actually see the first signs of it. This is after five days. So yeah, 10 days, you're going to be looking beautiful. Okay, pop him in a warm basket.